Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to prove that 1 plus 1 over n to the power of m is less than the Euler number for any natural numbers of n by using the mathematical induction with the aid of binomial theorem. Let's first let a be equal to 1 over n and we are going to apply the binomial theorem formula. So we are going to expand 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n is equal to 1 plus n the power times a a is 1 over n and we plus n n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial times a which is 1 over n to the power of 2 plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial and we times 1 over n to the power of 3 and we plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 divided by 4 factorial and we times 1 over n to the power of 4 plus and so on. Next, let's expand the terms with n. So we should have 1 n divided by n is 1 and we plus n times n n square n times minus 1 minus n divided by n square and we times 1 over 2 factorial plus n cube and we have minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 and we have n square then followed by minus 1 times minus 2 which is positive 2 and we have n divided by n cube and we times 1 over 3 factorial and we plus n to the power of 4 next is to take minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 which is equal to minus 6 and we have n to the power of 3 and followed by minus 1 times minus 2 which is plus 2 minus 1 times minus 3 which is plus 3 and minus 2 times minus 3 which is plus 6 add together we have 11 and we have n squared lastly we have minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3 which is equal to minus 6 and we have n and the whole thing divided by n to the power 4 and we times 1 over 4 factorial remember to add so on next let's factorize the terms with n so we have 1 plus 1 plus take out the term with the highest power which is n square so we have n square where we factorize n square we should have 1 minus 1 over n and divided by n square and we times 1 over 2 factorial plus the next term n to the power cube also always take out the term with the highest power so we have 1 minus 3 divided by n plus 2 divided by n squared the whole thing divided by n cubed and we times 1 over 3 factorial and we plus the next term n to the power 4 so we have 1 minus 6 divided by n plus 11 divided by n squared minus 6 divided by n cubed and we have divided by n to the power 4 times 1 over 4 factorial plus so on let's simplify n square cancel with n square n cubed cancel with n cubed n power 4 cancel with n power 4 and this is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 over n times 1 over 2 factorial and we plus 1 minus 3 divided by n plus 2 over n square times 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 minus 6 over n plus 11 over n square minus 6 over n cubed and we times 1 over 4 factorial plus and so on. Next, I'm going to apply mathematical induction to evaluate the terms one by one. Since one plus one is equal to two, which is a constant, which means that we can skip the first two terms and jump to the third term. From here, we can see that as stated in the question, n is any natural numbers, which means that n must be any integers that more than or equal to one. If we take the reciprocal, we should have one over n is less than or equal to 1. Since n is any positive integer that is more than or equal to 1, which means that this must be bounded by 0. If we take the negative of the entire inequality, we should have 0 is more than negative 1 over n more than equal to negative 1. 
if we plus 1 and we should have 1 more than 1 minus 1 over n more than equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0. From here we can see that 1 minus n is ranged from 0 to less than 1. From here we can conclude that for any number let's say m when we multiply with a factor which is ranged from 0 to less than 1, the result must be less than its original number, which means that from here we can conclude that this term is always less than 1 over 2 factorial. And for the next term, we have 1 minus 3 over n plus 2 over n squared, which can be written as 1 minus 1 over n times if we take out negative 1 over n from negative 3 over n we should left 3 and from 2 over n square we should have negative 2 over n since negative negative becomes positive and from here we can apply the similar idea 2 over n must be bounded by 0 and less than equal to 2 if we take the negative of the entire e equality we should have 0 more than negative 2 over n more than equal to negative 2 and now plus 3 we should have 3 more than then 3 minus 2 over n more than equal to 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1. From here we can see that this is always positive and for any natural number 1 over natural number will still be positive. Positive times positive is positive. If we take 1 minus positive we will have the result that is always less than 1. Again, if we have any positive value, for example, m, multiply with a value which is less than 1, we will definitely obtain the result which is less than m. And hence, we can conclude that this term will definitely less than 1 over 3 factorial. And for the next term, we have 1 minus 6 divided by n plus 11 over n squared minus 6 over n cubed. By using the same method, we should have 1 minus 6 over n plus 1 over n squared times 11 minus 6 over n. Using the similar idea, we have 0 less than 6 divided by n is less than equal to 6. If we take the negative, we should have 0 more than negative 6 over n more than equal to negative 6. And now we should plus 11, which means that 11 more than 11 minus 6 over n more than equal to 11 minus 6, which is 5. If we let k be equal to 11 minus 6 over n, which means that k should range from 5 to less than 11. Let's evaluate further. We should have 1 minus 1 over n times 6 minus k over n. Recall that 1 over n is always bounded by 0 to positive 1 for any natural numbers of n, which means that if we have k which is ranged from 5 to less than 11, which means that we should have two possibilities. One is 0 less than k over n less than equal to 5. Another is 0 less than k over n less than equal to 11. So from here, what we need here is to take the negative of k over n, which means that we should have 0 more than negative k over n more than equal to negative 5. And for the other side, we have 0 more more than negative k over n more than equal to negative 11 and lastly we should add 6 so which means that we should have 6 more than 6 minus k divided by n more than equal to 6 minus 5 which is equal to 1 and for the other side we have 6 more than 6 minus k divided by n more than equal to 6 minus 11 which is negative 5. Now let's take the intersection of these two cases. Let's draw a number line we have the number negative 5 followed by 1 followed by 6. So for case 1 we should range from 1 to less than 6. 
And for case 2, we shall range from negative 5 to less than 6. And this is the intersection, which means that we can conclude that this term is always positive. When we have positive multiply with a positive since n is any natural number, 1 minus positive, we should have a number which is always less than 1. From here, we can again conclude that this entire term is again less than this number which is 1 over 4 factorial for the same reason. Therefore, based on the mathematical induction, we can conclude that 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n is less than 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial and so on. From here, let's generalize the series. So which means that we should have 1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial and so on which means that this is actually the summation of 1 over n factorial and this is simply the Euler number the constant e from here we can see that this series expansion the constant e greater than this powers which means that we can conclude that 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n is always less than e for any natural numbers of and and hence with that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you